Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Today I will discuss civil engineering facts, especially for construction, which should not be changed. So therefore watch this video till the end that what are the important facts in civil engineering. So let's get started. If this video is helpful for you, so you may like this video. Remember guys, the first one is especially for lapping okay so lapping not allowed for what okay so lapping not allowed so what is lapping you can see guys this is one steel rod and as you know we have standard length of steel rod from the factory which is 12 meter so to increase the length of steel rod we overlap one steel rod to another to get full length so guys here we bind so we are making overlap so lapping not allowed in the case of if the dia of steel rod is more than 36 mm so for more than 36 mm dia lapping is not allowed then what we can do with this to increase the length so for this we will do welding so here we will provide our we should weld okay so do welding for overlapping so therefore lapping is not allowed so this is civil engineering fact which which should not be changed so if you want to uh, overlap so it can't work properly right so this is the first fact the second one is guys that is for columns okay so one is square or rectangular column for square and rectangular column this is the fact in civil engineering that use minimum four steel rods longitudinal rods four steel rods should be used four steel rods and if you have the rectangular so also use minimum four steel rods minimum four steel rods also in the rectangular column so if you have circular column remember so for circular column use minimum use minimum six numbers not four numbers okay one two three four five six so use minimum six number of steel rods okay now the fourth one is specially the third one is specially for steel dia steel diameter remember for square column or rectangular column are for circular column okay don't use less than 12 millimeter so the steel dia should not be less than for square rectangular or circular column less than 12 millimeter okay so here with this also we have lateral ties lateral tie or helix okay here guys you can see now remember weight the dia of lateral tie or stirrup and beam it should not be less than 6 millimeter this is also civil engineering fact it should not be less than 6 millimeter or 
वन फोर्थ ऑफ लॉन्गिट्यूडल बार वन फोर्थ ऑफ लॉन्गिट्यूडल बार सो इफ यू डू वन फोर्थ ऑफ लॉन्गिट्यूडल बार इफ द डाया इज लेस देन सिक्स मिलीमीटर देन डोंट प्रोवाइड बिकॉज यू विल टेक सिक्स मिलीमीटर नॉट लेस देन सिक्स बट इफ इट बिकम इंक्रीज फ्रॉम सिक्स मिलीमीटर देन decide the bigger dia this is the other fact okay now come for the fourth one for concrete cover okay so for cover concrete cover or clear cover so for column for circular or rectangular for any one so the concrete cover this one guys you can see so the concrete cover should not be less than 40 mm or you can say 1.5 inches okay this is the other fact especially for concrete cover again specially guys the the hooks are very important if that is circular column square column or rectangular column now what should be the length of hooks okay so the length of the hooks should not be less than 3 inches it should not be less than 3 inch or 75 mm okay it must be 75 uh, mm not less than 75 mm for all for rectangular square or for uh circular column right so now guys especially for now uh, we will discuss concrete uh, for concrete okay so the fifth one is and concrete okay especially in the concrete so when uh, uh, especially for uh, placing of concrete in slab okay so as you can see for example if this is wheel barrow this one as you can see and let me use it for example this is wheel wheel barrow okay so here we have concrete okay so this vertical height during placing of concrete it should not be more than 1.5 meter okay for example here this is slab okay so this is rcc slab or beam or anything okay so the height should not be more than 1.5 meter because when it will make segregation bleeding so that is not best for the or this is not good for the a uh, slab or for concrete okay it can decrease the strength of concrete okay so this is the other one again in the concrete guys remember for slab so six number slab so the thickness of the slab should not be less than for lighter load for lighter load the uh, the thickness of the slab should not be less than 125 mm it should not be less than 125 mm right here guys also specially for raft foundation specially for raft foundation and also in slab when we are using double mesh in mega projects so dear guys we are using seventh we are using chairs okay so the chairs uh, as you can see for example this is a raft foundation so these are steel rods okay to maintain the spacing for upward mesh and downward mesh okay we are providing here what chairs like this okay so the chairs dia should not be less than 12 mm 12 mm and the spacing should be the the spacing should not be more than 1.5 m the spacing should not be more than 1.5 m 
this is for cheers to maintain the uh, main bars and distribution bar spacing okay now guys the other one is eighth one is I don't have place uh, on the boat so therefore I'm sorry so the eighth one is for binding wire remember guys to keep the spacing of main bars distribution bars for stirrups uh, for uh, lateral ties we are using binding wire okay so like this we are using binding wire so therefore how much binding wire is required for the slab beam column or for okay so these are binding wires so remember guys from a to 10 kg binding wire is required for one metric ton means for one ton we required 8 to 10 kg binding wire so remember this main point okay now guys the tenth one is here let me erase these the ninth one is sorry okay for um, bent uh, bent up bar bent up bar okay so guys here you can see this is bent up bar so this angle okay it should not be more than 60 degree okay so from 45 to 60 degree you can keep the bent up bar or crank bar you can say okay but here if you don't have the structure design so this bent up bar length should be provided or this bent up bar should be provided with the distance of l by 4 where you can get this length this one okay for example what is l so from start to end or the span the span is length from one column to another so l divided by 4 it will give you some value so that value will be a length of bent or crank bar okay or you can provide here this length from one spin right now guys the last one is the tenth one is for spacing of stirrups okay as you can see guys this is the beam long section so here for example here this is the column and this is other column so guys what should be the spacing of stirrups standard spacing okay so near at support where we can provide lapping length or crank bar to resist shear stresses because shear stresses are maximum at the end of the support so therefore we provide bent up bar or crank bar because it resist also cracks because uh, due to maximum shear stresses the building or beam can provide cracks to avoid the cracks we will provide the bent up bar or crank bar so in that case the stirrup spacing and the beam should be closely at the distance of l by 4 as i told you what is l by 4 when you come to the mid so there you can keep the spacing compared to this one if you keep more than this one so no problem because here we have maximum bending moment so here guys I am making a graph for this so therefore we provide more amount of stirrups or more numbers are with close uh, closely we provide that's why because when the load comes on the top of the beam structure load so it provide the graph uh, it can give you uh, like this because here guys you can see 
same like this one okay because here we have the positive bending moment but here we have the negative bending moment so to resist negative bending moment we will make crank bar or bent up bar so therefore to make it strong we will provide closely stirrups okay so guys uh, these are 10 numbers of facts in civil engineering which i have discussed in the front of you hope this video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye